Virgo. All right, Virgo, Sun, Moon rising, and the North Node. Sun, moon, rising, and the north node for Virgo. You have unleashed your imagination. You may be limiting your intuition by limiting your imagination. Expand your idea of what's possible now in your life and in the world. While staying grounded, surrendered and flexible, unleash your imagination in general by indulging in a fun, creative hobby. Daydreams lead to real life manifestations. Okay, so get creative, Virgo. That's what I'm picking up on this card is get creative, okay? I feel like you have a lot of creative energy. You have a lot of creativity within you. You have clarity. All right, so truth, intentions, and honesty. I am picking up Leo, the sun card, and tarot. So someone could be dealing with a Leo or they could have Leo placements. You're going to receive some kind of truth, some kind of clarity. Okay. This could be confirmation for you when it comes to your intuition. Okay. You're also going to find a solution to your problems.
someone is going to receive clarity by spying on someone. Okay. Or it's like someone, <clears throat> okay. For example, this could be on social media where someone is, <clears throat> sorry, where someone is watching something, right? They're, um, they're monitoring someone's, um, I guess, they're monitoring someone's uh, social media accounts. And it's like, while they're monitoring it, they're going to notice something. So whatever you're going to notice or whatever someone is noticing that's going to bring clarity or confirmation about their intuition. All right. But clarity about what? Beginnings. Trying again, a new direction and starting over. So this is either an indication that whatever you find or whatever you see is going to push a new beginning into your life. You're going to start over or let's see what what exactly is this? Either someone is going to bring you clarity, they're going to bring you the truth, or you're going to figure this out on your own. What is clarity? Someone could have received a brand new camera, okay? Someone is getting started with taking pictures or becoming a professional um, photographer. You have uh, the two of pentacles here. So you must balance out the work and the life. Being adaptable, balancing, being flexible, juggling priorities and multitasking. So I feel like <clears throat> you may be trying to figure out how to handle more than one thing. This could be work. This could be your work area. Okay, your love life, things like that. Whatever you're going to find out or whatever clarity this is, it's either going to push a new beginning into your life, okay? I feel like this is a solution, a solution to something that's been on your mind for a while, I mean, something that's been on your mind for a while. Okay, two of pentacles juggling. Yeah, queen of wands. Confidence, creativity, leadership, passion, warmth. Okay. Yeah, so you're going to find a solution to your problems. Your schedule. This could have something to do with your schedule, your work schedule, your... um day-to-day -day life okay but yeah uh virgo you will receive clarity truth someone is going to bring this to you someone is going to let you know <clears throat> someone is going to let you know that they want to have a new beginning with you okay Maybe someone wants to work with you or I feel like this could also be um, this could also be a romantic situation. OK. Someone is realizing that they want to make things work with you because they see that 
you're actually qualified or you're good at what you do. You're a good person. Okay. Once again, I feel like someone has realized something about you. They could have had some kind of epiphany or some kind of realization while they were sleeping or meditating or going within for the answers. All right, so you have the King of Wands here. You have the Queen of Wands, but here you have the King of Wands. So this could be a fire sign in Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, or you could have those placements in your chart. So with the King of Wands here, Virgo, you are definitely standing in your power. You're powerful. Um, you're confident. You're creative. You're standing your ground. Um, no insecurities or anything like that. I feel like <clears throat> there's a lot of confidence here. Okay, someone could be claiming that you're overconfident, you're overly confident, but I don't see that. I'm not picking that up. Okay, I just feel like you're proud of yourself. Um, things are working out for you. Okay, yeah, you're standing in your power. Okay, yeah, three of wands. You could be waiting for some kind of opportunity. Yeah, King of Wands, Three of Wands, Queen of Jars, basically the Queen of Cups. Okay, so Cancer here, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like you're waiting for something or you were waiting for something, um, some kind of opportunity. Just know that this is coming back around. If you've missed some kind of opportunity, it is coming back around. Okay. Or this King of Wands, this King of Wands has been waiting for the right opportunity to come back to you, okay? Because they are in love with you. They have they have um, intense emotions for you, okay? They feel like by being with you or dealing with you, they're going to hit the jackpot, okay? They feel like marrying you or being with you is like hitting the jackpot. So you're not married to this person. I feel like this is someone that's not married. So they actually see you as someone that they want to marry. Or something about the jackpot, the lottery. Okay. Or someone needs to play 333, 332. Or that number could have already failed. Okay. But yeah, they were waiting for the right time to um, come towards you. You have the strength card in reverse. This could be a Leo. Someone is not confident. They're not... Um, <clears throat> they're not being strong. They're not being brave. They're not being courageous. Instead, they feel weak, okay? You have this, the, um, I almost said the three of sevens. I don't know why I said that. So, three of swords. So, you could be seeing seven, 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 okay? Or lucky sevens or something like that. Someone is going to the casino. Yeah, someone is going to the casino or they're making plans to gamble or something like that. But yeah, this person feels weak. They may feel afraid because they're afraid of, they're afraid of something. They're afraid of getting their heart broken. So they feel like you're going to reject them. All right, what is the three of swords? If it's an air sign, if it's a Gemini, an Aquarius, or a Libra, I feel like you're not going to reject this person, but you don't have anything to you don't have anything to say. Like you don't have anything to say to this person. If it's a fire sign. It's possible that you feel the same way. Okay. 
you don't have anything or someone does not have anything to say to this air sign. <clears throat> Three of Swords. All right, Seven of Pentacles. But they're planning on giving you this offer anyway. I feel like they're healing for some kind of heartbreak from a third party or from dealing with someone else. So be careful, Virgo. You don't want to become a rebound. Or be careful not to treat someone like a rebound. Okay. But I am picking up. Yeah, three of swords, seven of pentacles, six of pentacles. Someone is also planning on, they're also planning on giving you something. This could be a gift. the moon yeah you don't see that coming okay the keeper so they're afraid they feel like you're going to reject their offer like i said if this is an air sign you don't have anything else to say to this person you don't know what to say to this person but if it's a fire sign there's a possibility you know it could it could work Okay, if it's a water sign, I feel like someone is chasing someone else. They're they're chasing someone else. Like someone is trying to force a connection. It's like <clears throat> someone is being led along or They're saying one thing and doing another. They'll say that they want to be with you or they can see a future with you and then they won't treat you that way. And then it'll leave you confused or... <clears throat> yeah, seven of jars. There's some confusion here. If you see the look on her face, she looks confused. Okay, but I'm getting someone does have options, but they want you or they had options. I feel like Virgo, you have options. A lot of people would like to date you. They want to get to know you. You have princess of wands. They love your confidence. Okay, they love your work ethic. They find you very attractive, okay? Someone's nickname could actually be princess or prince. Okay. Someone could have recently just started a new job or you're training someone. I feel like whatever this is that you're doing for work, you don't really need training, but you know, you have to go through the process anyway. 
Princess of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. So someone is going from the Princess of Wands to the Queen of Wands. This looks like a promotion or a raise. But yeah, Virgo, someone is waiting. This is the King of Wands. They're um they're waiting for the right opportunity to bring you this offer. I feel like this is a relationship offer or um an offer of <clears throat> or um an offer of reconciliation, an offer of a relationship or this could be a job offer. Okay. Or some kind of offer is coming towards you. 